Quaswick, he knows that Quaswex and Walker will just be out regioning that. And on the bottom lane, 1 1 1 build on Sanking. That caustic finale causing a lot of issues. He might be in trouble. Where's the stun? He goes for the courier snipe. Oh gee, not enough damage to actually bring him down though. That's easy kill to grab on Queen of Fain. But if he uses his toolkit correctly, I don't think he also dies in this lane unless they manage to rotate one hero. Well, they go again onto no tail top. On HP. They ink swell the Hawk though. And that should have been a straight up kill on no tail and he Dyer's somehow escapes with his life. Killed. Bit of a misplay there from TSA. Not what they were looking for. Yeah, DK Fogas, he knows he's given the old moot. Sumail. Perfectly happy just to tank up Dark through that poor damage. Scanning. Top three CSs, all OG. Anti Mage still keeping up, but there's a dive forward from Phoenix. Kicked in a lot of trouble now. Doesn't have stick charges, no brain sap, and first blood spilled by Saxa. Charge. Bane rotating across. We'll jump no tail here. They're looking to try and get themselves on the board. They know that Observer Ward has been placed on the high ground and that final scream with the arcane rune going That's still for Young G. Cost HP on bottom lane, mid one just manning up against Anti Mage. Has all his mana burned, which means no extra damage coming out on him. He's got a soul ring though. No tail falls elsewhere, but the AM kill if they get it, much more important. Oh, he blinks back but still pops. Mid one with that caustic finale tower from the prophet. This should force Radiant the anti mage away. They're bringing Grimstroke down here to defend. Dyer's top tower is under attack. TSA showing with Bane moving Radiant's forward, pretty aggressive. Nightmaring Saxa transferred back onto a prophet treant, but in comes the Inkswell, focusing no tail as the haunt arriving, kicked about to drop Bane. He's a hit away from death, and that dagger will finish him off. Nicely sniped, as no tail still alive. Mana Void clears him up, and AM. Long. Link off cooldown, but chain stunned. He's obliterated. One charges come out at the last second. An aggressive charge out of there, but he's got nowhere to go now. Sitting on 100 HP. It's level 6. Double roar. You have double Mana Void. Double Fiend's Grip. You name it. Oh, the aggression bottom lane, it just continues. Body blocks from the Treants, but it's the Burra Strike into TSA towards Dyer's the back, where mid one finding yet another kill. Oh, Applying this pressure bottom. Aggressive child, he can't hit any creeps down here, and look at this rotation from Topson. Tornado Five EMP, hero. they've got a Burra Strike Dyer's connecting with all the stuns, Queen of Pain falling so quickly. OG chaining kills one by one, and they keep, what, five heroes bottom? Nah, the shift stanking top. He's so close to it as well. It's Topson, once more just burning the majority of the Queen of Pain's mana, nearly killing her off. Forced to pop the wand as that urn ticks over. They've got a good roar here. Topson being caught out for hero rotation to save up Young G and snipe out the Topson Invoker as they shift towards the team. Against Invoker, against Sanking. Royal Jelly dropped for both of these teams. Sanking keeping one. And Spectre, on the other team you have Anti-Mage and the Queen of Pain, of course, Young G in a lot of trouble at the moment. Or who is? Middle tower is under attack. Dobson, and it's actually Invoker that's in trouble. Nature's Prophet has TP'd in here aggressively, Burrow from mid one, but no epicenter as they pop the supernova. Still trying to fight up on this high ground, Saxa clears up Young G, has kicked retreats, no tail. The raindrops keep him alive through the stroke of fate, and DK Fogos into the Roche Pit, trying to deny himself, but the final touch, Saxa with a double kill. Yes, they lose Topson, but once more they relieve this pressure and they keep Sumail farming out on the other side of the map. I missed Topson because I want to see players who think outside of the box with their item build. He's going for Blade Mail. Like, Blade Mail is such a cost efficient item, especially on the intelligence heroes. You get 36 damage, you get some extra armor, you get return. A freebie on the Bane, diving onto the Grimstroke. Oh, no stuns. Mid one already spending his little burrow strike there. Eight to five, a 3k lead now for OG. Uh, some FPS drops going on, nothing I can do. I, I've, I've got an i7 and a 1080, but battle pass update just drops my FPS to like 10 for literally no reason. As they find DK Fogus, there's the epicenter. 
It's going to kill off one of the Necro units. He turns to Roar, but the Beastmaster still falls, giving Sumail the last hit as the Tornado EMP does catch up two over the left-hand side. Kick, cold snapped, and slain. Inside the Sprout, down you fall, and TSA, he's trying to ink swell away, but Sumail, is he going to give chase? Doesn't even need to. The dagger thrown away from long range, and it's a double kill for Spectre. Big day gone. The classic. Of yeah, classic build. Smoke from Windstrike heading eastwards when as OG are hunting the AMs on the west side of the map. No Tail is going to be the first one that gets spotted out, though. There should be a pretty quick little kill there on the Nature's Prophet. Tornado EMP from Thompson. Mid one with a oh, Sandstorm Burrow Strike. Claiming the bounty kill onto Young G and kicked Bane. He's all alone here, trapped and isolated. Focused down with Sumail on a mega kill streak. He should be able to move forward and potentially find some more. Like Beastmaster hiding under tier 2. AM still stuck up top. Beastmaster is their more. Has fallen. They're still trying to get into this dire jungle. Queen of Pain leading the way. But Topson, he's just on her every step. Burrow Strike there with a cold snap and the urn. Nightmare to try and buy a bit of time, but the blink it comes out. Still looks like she's ticking down with that Veil Urn on her. Down she goes, and the Sunray finishes off the Bane a little further upwards. Now an 11 kill lead and 8,000 net worth to the good. Oh gee, rushing Scythe of Ice on the Nature's Prophet. Have we seen Sonic Wave? Have we heard it? I, I don't think so. I don't think so, and they're also going to catch the Beastmaster down bottom. He dusts up the Sand King, but the cavalry arrives, and oh gee, they're all here. Battling into the Beastmaster, mid one still being dealt with by the Necro units, but they will be able to clear it up until the Queen of Pain arrives with a Shadow Strike. Now no tail, nightmare up. Wind Strike looking for a turnaround. They've got no more stuns, do they? Anything into the Sprout? There we go. Wings Grip plus Mana Void. They just wanted to secure that one. Kill off no tail, pop your ulties, find the profit. It's a good setup if you can time it. Tornado into Meteor Hammer. Let's see how godly he is on this hero. Well, mid one catches the Bane. They soul bind the Spectre. TSA low HP just running straight forward towards them as the Haunt going to allow Spectre to disengage but find the kill on Bane. Now jumping back in again. Aggressive Child anti mage is in the midst of this fight, actually thrown in there. Aggressive Child just blinked in. Invoker's waiting underneath the sentry. That's a good setup. And there's the roar. He got his blade mail off, so a decent amount of damage returned, but it's still pretty simple for Windstrike to find the blow up on Topson. But in comes the rest of OG. Spectre with a dagger, gonna clear up some of these summons from Beastmaster. Saxa, very low, but that supernova, perfectly timed to dodge the sonic wave. And jumping forward, Sumail and mid one want the Burrow Strike with a dagger, and there it is, connecting perfectly. Kill off the Phantom Embrace, mid one into the Sandstorm, and TSA, he's gonna step too far. Trapped inside the Sprout, and a double kill for mid one. OG on. Dyer are scanning. Doing very well for himself. Has no tail. Has his TP cancelled by the Yules. Can't get himself out of this one. Just gonna try and walk back, delay the inevitable death. Here's thy Double mechanism. damage rune, top for the Queen of Pain, as Topson hidden away. The waves. Topson's on the hunt again. And he's got mid one to be able to make that immediate jump as well. This wind strike, little smoke up from TSA, everyone's being popped. OG, straight into the creep wave, Where's two the man soul find, there's the double roar. They jump into the back with a two man fiend grip, grip, pop out mid one, streak is gone. Sumail focused, but gets the haunt off, DK focused, nearly dead, the sun ray burning through him, and a great supernova, but the Beastmaster's still alive until the final nature's wrath touch takes him out. Kick Radiant follows, has no tail, with a double kill, focused down the bane. And OG, yes they lose their mid one sand king, but they somehow kept Sumail alive, even through that onslaught combo. Such nice ways of protecting it. Another disconnect. Meepo. Spectre 1. Nature's Prophet 1. 2 1 now to No Tail. 3 1. Oh, he's getting a streak going. 5 1. 6 1. No Tail is in the lead. 1 from Saxe. He does try and catch up now with 2. No Tail with 8. Oh, he's sprinting ahead to the victory line. No Tail with a 10 1 victory. Beautiful Wacker Meepo skills. And we go for round 2. One more time. Lacoste, who have you got your money on? Is it No Tail again? It's 3 to 3. Master. Sacks are all tied up. Beastmaster's not even getting involved. He's disconnected or some shit. I don't know. Seven to six. Eight six now. No tail. So close. But Sacks are coming back. Swift victory though. As no tail. Two points ahead of Sacks. A beautiful takedown. Oh, we Grimstroke. need more of these games. Grimstroke. Oh, Grimstroke. 
Mant is tile done quite some time ago. They've spent Haunt the is ready. The yep. Just trying to hold Thompson back. AM. Blinking a little deeper in this lane, but Thompson's coming. Bounty set on the anti-mage. Who's Bob? Bob is Spectre. Sumail is Bob, and mid one finds the Burrow Strike and onto the AM. The cold snap is gonna hold him in place, and Topson claims the bounty on the anti-mage. Sumail setting it up with that bounty claim. As farmed as Spectre at the moment. But one tornado, one EMP, or just cold snap, if Manta style is on cooldown, he tornado. can't take fight. Meteor Hammer, Yule's up from the Queen of Pain. They're gonna get hit by the cold snap and mid one was so close. They will haunt forward. Sunstrike to give vision. Sumail giving chase, but the sonic wave pushed back. And now a blink away from Young G gets him out of danger. TSA focused down, but in the glimmer KB he's hidden. Sumail has to switch targets for a third time. Onto the Bane, and that's all they will get. If they only lose Bane, that's really okay for them. Anti Mage still farming on the bottom lane. Needs to start cutting. Leave the Queen of Pain alone. Or maybe not. Ho oh. ho. Mid one wanted to TP to creep wave. Young G looks like not gonna get jumped by the Sand King, but Topson will still find him. Meteor Hammer does land this time, and Young G forced the BKB blink away, barely scraping out with his life. TP is gonna complete. Back to Fountain we go. That's a lot of pressure coming out from this Invoker. He's bottom lane for the full Mega Creeps take. What if Windstrike just keeps cutting the waves until OG taps out? Radiance middle barracks. Yeah, what if they just do that? Blink Radiance Abyssal, AM's barracks. in. But a nice Burrow Strike through, he's gonna try and catch him. Aggressive Child, he's tornadoed up. Counter spell out with a Sonic Wave there, pushing Topson a mid one back. But the Supernova is going to zone out the rest of Windstrike while Sumail is diving Radiance into Fountain. Spectre's Zoning going wild. Now they've caught the Queen of Pain with another great Burrow Strike from mid one. Dyer's Young G, can he blink out of here? Barely. OG still trying to give chase. For a strike up in one second. Queen of Pain. Giving it all she's got, but that urn ticks her down and she's dead for 60 with no buyback. AM Abyssal Mantis style ready, but without mana void, this is your last set of Raxes. Some ale just going ham. And there's the chain stun. Yes, they get the soul bind with the Abyssal Blade from AM, but the three man tornado is gonna completely disjoint this fight. Windstrike have got nothing left in the tank. Aggressive Child has to blink back into Fountain, and he's the only hero left standing. Sunstrike there with a Spectre diving. Aggressive Child, can you blink out? Do you even care? No, no, no. GG's already called. OG taking game one up against Windstrike and a celebratory epicenter from mid one, just in the corner of your screen, as the Ancient falls. Such a nice performance coming out from mid one in the laning stage. Soxa only died once this game, involved in 25 out of 36 kills. And man, I miss Thompson in the action. Like his creative item builds and his aggressive play in the enemy jungle. I want to see game two, and I gotta say, Windstrike gave them more trouble than I expected.